Hello friend, welcome back. In this video, I want to do, I want to update our dashboard. So by default, when you install that Laravel uh, Breeze authentication system, so Breeze actually provided this type of one of the dashboard page, right? I have already discussed about that things with you. Right now, better I want to make it as a clean. Okay, I simply clean it simply clean so that is our web route and then uh, by default one of the view so into the view you can see there is a view and that is on the dashboard page so, so now that is dashboard page is loaded right now i want to do i want to change it here i want to customize it so friend my main target is will you learn laravel from very beginning by developing one complete project so by creating that project you will learn laravel more effectively okay like right now first of all i want to do i want to change that our default admin panel uh, i want to replace it with our that is one of the custom admin panel i want to replace it by this so let's do that work for doing this that is one of the index.html okay so first of all i want to do i want to go to our theme so that will be our backend theme and into this backend theme that is one of the asset so friend if you understand that part then you can change whatever the theme you want to add in your project you can able to do this work is very easy so now that is our backend okay so that is all that our static html file and they have one of the asset folder and into this asset there is a css font images js library first of all i want to do i want to simply take our asset so i copy that asset folder now go to our project so into that is our basic project into the basic project in our public better i want to create one of the folder okay i simply create one of the folder that will be our backend file right i make it as a backend okay backend i simply created one of the folder as a backend and into this backend folder here i want to do i want to paste our asset file so it may take little time better when it will be done then i'll come back again okay friend here is now successfully added all that our asset folder in our public i have created on the folder name as a backend okay great now i want to do i want to take our index so that is also another index.html so that is our index.html and that is actually this one right here they have one of the sidebar they have one of the header part they have one of the main content part and also that is our footer part okay that is actually the four different type of part i want to do first of all i want to get everything okay i want to get everything that is in our index.html file so before adding that index.html i want to do in our that will be our view file right so into the view area i want to better into the resources views here i want to create one of the new folder i want to organize it then that will be actually helpful i simply create another folder name as a admin so into this admin area i want to create two of this file one i want to do i want to create another new file i click as a save as and i just name it as a admin underscore master okay master dot blade dot php because that is on the blade syntax so i simply added that as a admin master blade dot php great and now i want to create another file i click as a save as and i just name it as index dot blade dot php simply understand all that process as i told you laravel will be very much easy to you how much easy do we develop one of the project i will step by step i show you like i simply created two of this file i one is the admin master dot blade and also another one is the index blade dot php and now i want to do in our admin master first now i want to do and to go to our project that means our backend theme and into the backend theme that is index.html so now i want to open it with the sublink text editor and now i copy everything from here because all that our header sidebar navbar and footer everything in our one page you can see that is index html page everything is in here so right now i simply select by the control a and now i copy it by the control c and now in our admin master here i want to do and to paste it okay friends so that's all right now we don't need this i simply close it so when you add it in our blade file so right now that is our extension as a blade.php right here now if you want to access all that your fav icon if you want to access that as uh, css the all that css and also that have some of the jss if you want to access it we have to access it uh, from which position in our public and that is our backend 
right and after the tagging you can see x asset and then images and fav icon that means everything is ready made in here also there is a asset libraries admin resources jquery and there is a asset library asset library that means our asset is the common right only we have to do we have to add that our asset first for the getting our public folder and then we have to get that as a back end i show you like right now our path will be that is a blade syntax and then asset so this asset means that that is actually asset with by this asset you are able to access our public folder right and after that public folder here i have created another folder as a back end right so that is our back end folder and after that back end folder then that will be our assets that means that will be just like that same so our main common part will be this one better i copy it because that will be needed a lot of the time better i save it in here and now i want to do and to cut it and all that our asset file now before that asset i want to do and to execute it so i simply select it by pressing that control you can add that multiple one okay i simply select it select it select it and select it now i want to done to paste it great so everything will be very clear to you right now so that is our back in and slash our asset folder right you can see how much easy now i simply cut it and after that back in i want to paste it now that is our appropriate position that is our asset that means it should be access our public folder and then the back in folder so that is our back in folder and after that back in that is our asset folder okay now i want to done to update it for our rest of all the css i simply cut it and here i paste it and also from here i want to do want to cut it and then i want to paste it i simply updated our url now i cut it and then i paste it so that is the same process now we have to apply for all i simply first of all i want to simply take our css and the jss which will be very important so now i cut it and then i paste it okay so here i paste it great and also we have to do um, they have also some of the images okay for the images i want to update it that will be the same process better i copy it process i copy it and then there is asset asset and then also there is another one okay and there also there is another one sorry that will be the asset pressing that control you can add that multiple one i paste it okay so now we have to update it that is asset i cut it and then after the back in that will be our images that is also another one i cut it and then paste it again i cut it and then paste it then i cut it okay and then i paste it great okay i simply paste it okay so i simply updated that part and also we have i have updated the css and also that for this theme that is some of the js file also now we have to update that js file better right now i copy it again okay and then i selected multiple things at a time okay i simply select it by pressing that control i simply select it that is another one asset 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 and then the asset and then asset i simply paste it now we have to update our path that will be the asset library and jquery mean i cut it and then that will be here i simply cut it that will be after the back in folder because i have already take everything in our back in folder i cut it and paste it how much easy i show you like simply i first of all want to update that all that are url i paste it i cut it and then i paste it and then another one I cut it and then that will be pasted. I simply cut it and paste it. Okay. Cut it and then paste it. So I don't want to escape that video. I just simply recording that video. So that is a simple process. I hope you understand what exactly the things you have to do. And then another one. And also then another one. Okay, cut it and paste it and then again i cut it and then paste it great so i simply updated all that our js link and also i have updated our css link right here if you go to the top i have already updated our css link 
now you have to understand one things like for our every pages our which portion will be changed like if you go to our another page okay like here i go to that another basic table into the basic table here you can see our sidebar is the same our header is the same our footer is also the same only that part that means that is actually our content part that is become changed right if you go to again dashboard you can see everything is become same only or that part will be updated so that part i want to do i want to make it as a el part okay so that will be only always i, I want to do i want to change our that main el part so i want to make it as a one of the id so if you want to do this work first of all you have to get that part so if you want to get it because everything right now in our index that means in our master admin master blade so from the admin master blade i want to segment it that means i want to find out our main el part like you can see that is one of the header right so that is one of the header and you can see header is ended which is totally fine and after that that is our left sidebar so i simply minimize it you can see there is a left sidebar started and left sidebar ended great that means um that is our header and that is our sidebar i want to do and to get our that part okay so that is our another part you can see there is a main content part Okay, so that is the main content. I want to done to minimize it, and you can see it's now display as the end of the base content. So that is actually our main content. Okay, so now I want to do um, that is our total content part. Okay, so that is our total content part. I want to take it. Okay, I simply take it. I simply cut it from to this position. I simply cut it, and now in our index and into the index area, I paste it. Okay, friend. Right now, better I want to select it and I want to make it a little bit left side. Okay, so right now that it will be as a left side. Great. So now that is our index and that is actually I get it from here. So now our that part will be as a yield part. So if you want to make it as a yield, so then that will be as a yield. Okay, that will be as a yield part. And for the yield, I want to do and to add one of the ID and I just name it as a admin. So now we have to also allocate that admin. Okay, here that that means always our that is yield part that is that our dashboard in particular that part will be changes right so now i want to do i want to make it as yield part one of the id as admin now in our index into this index also you have to now add it so from to this position you have to do you have to simply extends okay that will be the extends so that is the extends extends will be our which folder here we have to allocate it that our folder name so i have already added that our allocated folder as a admin and into this admin that is our admin master right so now first of all i want to add that our folder name as a admin and then i have created on the file as a admin underscore master okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you and also after that in our yield area i have already added one of the id as a admin so now i want to do and to take it so that will be one of the section okay at the rate and then the section so into the section area i have already put one of the id name as a admin okay and also you have to do have to end this section so that is will be started from to this position and then that is our last one after that last step i want to do and to make it as a end okay that is the end section i hope friend it's very much clear to you so right now everything will be more clear like that is our index that is our total content part right so that is our total content part i simply cut it from to this position and here i make it as a yield id as a admin and then i extend that our el part so that is our yield extends i make it as a admin and admin master right and that is our total sections now i want to do i want to load our index page okay that means when that will be loaded then automatically our everything will be will get it in our master blade like if you want to do that work now go to our um, router okay uh, that is our routes and if you go to that our web routes say into the web route before for the slash dashboard right so that is our dashboard page so that is our slash dashboard so before which page is loaded you can see there is a return view as a dashboard page so as i told you before our that is one of the dashboard page and that dashboard page is loaded so now i want to do and to change it here now i want to do i want to change and i want to load out 
index page so if you want to load that index page that is in our wish place that is in our admin and that is the index right so now i want to done to change that our view first of all that is the admin folder and our file name as the index so right now when our url will be slash dashboard then that will be simply return of the view as the admin folder and that is our index page will be loaded okay and when index page will be loaded by this admin admin master will get our all the css will get that all the jss header part you can see there is a sidebar part and also there is another one as a footer part everything will get right now let's check this out if you now click as a save all i simply save all now our dashboard is become changed i updated that view as a admin index page now if you go now simply refresh it yes you can see our magic is happening so right now our total dashboard is become changed our sidebar is successfully loaded our header is successfully loaded and that is our main body part that means main our el part is loaded and that is our footer part is loaded okay friend i hope it's very much clear to you so in our next video i want to do i want to update it i want to also segment our if you want to segment that uh, sidebar if you want to segment that header you can also segment it so as i told you friend step by step everything will be more clear to you just stay tuned with me so thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video